Hi, I'm David Sinita, Managing Director here at the Beaver Dam Area Community Theater. Now, before we begin today's story, I just need to remind you to follow and subscribe to us on Facebook and YouTube and click that donate button. We could really use your financial help. I'm getting kind of tired of working by candlelight. Now, BDX Readers Theater is presenting a comedy trilogy. Yes, a trilogy, and it's called He Loved Me, He Loved Me Not. Oh, I know how this works. Let's grab a flower here. All right, she loves me. Yes, she loves me not. Oh, I could tell something was up. You know, one time I forget to tell her that I'm going out with the guys for the weekend. Oh, she loves me. Fist bump, come on, don't leave me hanging. Yikes, okay, don't break your computer screen. It's all good. She loves me not. Oh, I could just cry. <sighs> okay, I'm better now because she loves me. I mean, we've been married for 23 years. Oh, wait, she loves me not. I guess they've been 23 long years. Let's just get on with today's story. So his return was directed by Ronnie Harper and stars Mark Wagner as John Hartley, Bonnie Franke as Helen Hartley, Mary Harper as the maid, and Rhiannon McCauley as Sylvia. Now to set the scene, we are in the bedroom of Helen Hartley, a woman whose husband John is returning home from his service from World War II. As the scene opens, Mrs. Hartley is about to arrive home after shopping with her young friend Sylvia. But first, the maid finds a strange man in the bedroom. Let's begin. Oh my, how did you get in here? Why, I, I walked upstairs. Well, yes, I know that, but how did you get into the house? I didn't hear a bell ring. I opened the door with this. Oh, you're the master. You're Captain Hartley. I'm so glad to see you. Why, well, I've heard all about you, um, about your medals and being wounded and gone for two years. May I shake your hand, Captain? Why, of course. I never thought I would shake hands with a real hero. Hero? Posh. They're all heroes over there. I'm just unlucky. Wounded. Sent home. Oh, nevertheless, the town's mighty proud of you. <laughs> Shucks. I don't care about the town. Tell me, how is she? The missus? Oh, dear. What is it? Well, What's wrong? Well, she doesn't wrong? expect you until 5 o'clock. I took an earlier train. Oh, but why did you do that? Why? Is it so difficult to understand? <laughs> it was wrong. Wrong? Don't you see? She wants to be dressed up. To look her nicest when she sees you. Well, what's the problem? Well, she'd simply be heartbroken if she knew that you'd gotten here and she wasn't ready. You see, it's something very special. Oh, something very special. Here she is now. Oh! You won't spoil her surprise. Oh, God forbid. Remember. Half an hour upstairs will seem almost as long as two years over there. Oh, I'm so glad I got this hat on sale. Isn't it nice? Mm -hmm. Where do you want me to put these? Uh, set those bags uh, over there. Right. Mrs. Hartley? Uh, Helen. Uh, Helen, would you do me a favor? <gasps> Who's the man? Your husband. What? May I stay here until he comes? Oh, no, dear. <laughs> but I'm simply dying to meet him. Do you want me to tell you a secret? So am I. I haven't seen him in two years. I've never seen him at all. Well, I'm his wife and, young lady, when you've been married as long as I have, you will understand. If, 
if you and the lucky man who gets you love each other as well as dearly as as well we do oh but we will that's right be happy be happy be as happy as i have been there are those moments in life that are like no other there was one in my life when he asked me a question and i said yes there was another when we knelt in church and then another but that wasn't so pleasant when i waved goodbye to him at the platform station when he joined the air force two years ago and there will be that wonderful moment a moment for which i've been living ever since when he comes home to to me don't you see there mustn't be any third person here just he and i i'm so sorry mrs hartley oh now now don't call me mrs hartley it makes me feel so old Ugh. helen dear oh and don't be so respectful i don't like it when the young girls are so respectful to me treat me just as they would their mothers <laughs> i'm not old i'm only third uh, well uh well it's nobody's business how old i am of course not not that there's any secret about it oh what i wouldn't give to be your age again it didn't take paint to put that color in your cheeks did it you old darling um sylvia you want me to go now don't you uh, would you like to help me get dressed sure then i will read you his last letter from overseas no, written the moment he landed here, to let me know when he'd arrive. Yes, ma'am? Uh, bring me the dress. You know which one. Oh, yes, I do, Mrs. Hartley. The same dress I wore the day I said goodbye to him at the train. Oh, what a charming idea. <laughs> His letter suggested it. Listen, my own dearest girl. Oh, no, I can't read the beginning. Oh, no, I really can't. Uh, oh, here's something. Yes? The weather on the trip home was lovely. How intensely exciting. Oh, wasn't very satisfactory, was it? Oh, the same shoes I wore that day. Uh, yes? Oh. I am going to read this to you. Someday you may get a letter just like it. Do you know what image has been burning in my mind every minute uh, since the last two years? Do you know what picture was before my lies as I lay in that wrecked plane, wounded, expecting every instant to be my last? It was your face, dear. As the train pulled out of the station, your face, dear, and your smile, your smile put on to encourage me. For God knows there was no smile in my heart that day. Every detail is as distinct as if you stood behind me, stood before me as I write. The little dress you wore, it was always my favorite. The hat, the one the kind that came down over the side of your face. Do you remember how it was when we... What was that last, Helen? <laughs> every detail, yes, every detail. But the hat, what did he say about the hat? Oh, well, this is the hat. Don't you like it? Oh, do you know, I used to have a dress something like that. Oh, that's not the way to do it. Can I hook you up, Helen? Oh, if you'd like to. I'll feel I had some sharing preparing for him. Oh, <laughs> his favorite dress. Mrs. Hartley? Uh. Well, I've, I'm i afraid you've grown a bit stout. What? I can't close more than half of the hooks. Oh, oh, I never thought of trying it on until today. Oh. What? Oh, no. Oh, Helen, just because you've gotten stout? Oh, it's not that. Oh, no, it's not that. It's because I've gotten old. Come here. Stand beside me. Look at yourself next to me. Do you see? It's come. It's come. I always knew it would come. Oh, not gradually so that I wouldn't know, but all of a sudden without a moment's notice, all at once. Oh, 
it only took two years. It was two years ago that I said goodbye to him and I wore this dress. I was a young wife. Oh, today he's coming home to find me an old woman. Oh. Why, Mrs. Hartley, that dress looks very becoming. Oh, it would on you. Oh, don't lie to me. Please, I've lied to myself enough. I painted and powdered and dined and danced with the youngest of them. Oh, but it had to come to an end. I knew it had to come to an end. But I hoped, how I hoped that it wouldn't come to not come to an end before today. Oh. Helen, dear, well, that is... It. You can't say anything. There's nothing anybody can say. I used to say it myself, that he'd find me as young, as beautiful as the day I waved goodbye to him at the station. Oh, no, now I know that will never be. He'll come home to find an old woman sitting opposite at his own table. Oh. Helen, dear, you can't possibly be over 30. I can't be, but I am. They are always over. Oh, you know, it's not that I care what other people think. I don't give that for their opinions. He's the only one that counts. He used to love my youth, my freshness. And now, if he wants youth and freshness, he'll have to go somewhere else to get it. <laughs> oh, jealous. Oh, I always hated jealous women. But today I understand. Today I too am jealous, jealous. Mrs. Hartley. <laughs> oh, I don't mean you, child. Of course not. Oh, you'll pardon me, won't you? Just, just the excitement of knowing that he was coming home. Oh, you will go now, Sylvia. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Hartley. I'm so sorry, so sorry. <laughs> Ma'am? Yes? He's come. What? He's just come in. Uh, uh, tell him to wait. To wait? Oh, you heard what I said and and come back when you've told him. Oh, oh. oh dear. Oh. oh, bring me my new floral dress. Oh, oh my goodness. Your floral? Yes, and quickly. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, oh, well, okay. me into it. But I, I thought, I, I thought. That I was going to wear the other one? Oh, how absurd. What, what on earth made you think that? Oh, never mind. I'm just so excited that I, I don't quite know what I'm saying. Uh, you can wear the, uh, the other dress, can't you? The other one? Yes, the pinstripe one. Uh, yes, I'm sure I can somewhere. Then take it, it's yours. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Oh, now I'm ready. Show him in. Helen, Helen, dear, where are you? Where are you, dear? <gasps> Helen! Isn't it wonderful to be home again? Oh, John. <laughs> to walk the streets of my own town, to stand under the roof of my own house. Is that all, John? No, that isn't all. Oh, say it, John, say it. To feel your arms around my neck, to feel your lips pressing mine. Do you realize what I've been through for two years? Oh, we'll try to forget that. We'll try. And now. Now? Let me look at you. Um, well. What is it? Tell me what I know already. Let me say it for you, that I've grown old, old, old. No. You are not the only one who suffered for these two years. I suffered. God knows how I've suffered for any reason, for no reason. When your letters didn't come, when the newspapers told of heavy fighting, 
when I stayed awake all night worrying my soul out, I suffered. I suffered too. My dear. Well, let me finish. These wrinkles, do you see them? These lines, they weren't here two years ago. Do you know why I have them? They are for you, you. It's not the men alone who go through the hell. It's the women they leave behind them. My dear, dear girl, you know I would love every wrinkle in your face. If there were any, only there aren't. Oh, John. You old? That's what comes from looking so much in your mirror. I say a woman is only as old as she looks in the eyes of her lover. And I? I have never seen you look so young, so beautiful, so altogether charming. John. Yes? Uh, look what I found. <laughs> a gray hair in your temple. <laughs> I've grown old, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> Helen. What is it? My goodness. <laughs> what a fool I was not to see it. Well, see what? And after the maid warned me that you had a surprise in store for me. Uh, well, what is it, John? You're wearing the same dress you wore the day you saw me off at the station. Oh, <laughs> you noticed. Where did you want me to start sliding my dress up? <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> up, not down. <laughs> oh. <laughs>